The federal election is just months away, and the country's political parties are trying their best to attract voters. But how does this tantalizing political mating dance look to indigenous people? For that, we turn to Beaverton contributor and real-life indigenous person, Tim Fontaine. Thank you for being here. Thank you. So, Tim, how is the slate of federal party leaders looking to you as an indigenous voter? Not good, Miguel. Everyone's lining up for my vote, but no one is catching my eye. It's like a crappy version of The Bachelor. So, The Bachelorette. Even crappier. Love Island? Maybe, but replace love with empty pandering. Okay, so let's start with how the Liberals are doing on empty pandering island. Might as well. Look, First Nations, Inuit, and Métis people helped bring the Liberals to power by voting in record numbers. But since then, Justin Trudeau has been doing the policy equivalent of laying on the couch in a dirty tank top saying, Babe, I bought you a pipeline and you never even use it. Don't buy something for me if it's just for you, guy. I actually dated a guy like that in high school, only it wasn't a pipeline, it was a No Fear t-shirt. Damn you, Aaron Brilson. Well, now that an election's looming, Trudeau's dropped the Aaron Brilson Act. He's suddenly gazing into our eyes again, promising hot nation-to-nation -nation action. Well, it's not 2015 anymore, Justin. No, indeed. So, Tim, how are the Conservatives looking? You know how when young kids like someone that way, they either ignore them or act mean? That's the Conservative relationship with Indigenous people. <laughs> if low-key hostility and negging are signs they're playing hard to get, they're crushing it. Andrew Shear read the Pickup Artist's Handbook. Maybe, but I'm pretty sure they don't actually like us. They just want our sweet, sexy votes. <laughs> okay, and what about the NDP? I'm sorry, who? Touche. <laughs> Maybe people should be considering the alternatives? I don't know. Green Party leader Elizabeth May seems cool, but she's hanging with some really problematic figures. You think you're going over to her house for some democracy and chill, then in walks Warren Kinsella with a camcorder saying, let's party. <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, it's a huge turnoff for us, too. Okay, what about the People's Party of Canada? Knowing these guys, they probably want us to go back to India. <laughs> okay, well, what could a political party offer you that might change your mind and get your rose at, or vote? That's a great question. I guess I'd settle for half. Half? The land. Half the land? Yep, east or west. We're not fussy. That might be tough. Would a land acknowledgement cover it? Nope, sorry. Leaders, if you want my vote, it's going to be half the land. <laughs> Tough but fair, and, uh, and that'll do it? Yep, for now. <laughs> What's that? Nothing. Tim Fontaine, everyone. Get into it. The Beaverton. Only on CTV.